I want to talk about how to lucid dream if you stay up late in the night. Loads of you probably stay up late until 3, 4 a.m., especially video gamers, students, and uh, all sorts of people really. So sleep is something that not everyone gets right. This video is for you, because I know that there are people out there who struggle with this. It's very simple, here's what you need to do. Firstly, if you can change your sleep pattern, meaning if you can actually go to bed at a sensible time, 100% you should do that. That should be your first priority before you look at anything else. Now this isn't always possible, especially if you work night shifts, especially if you like staying up late to play particular video games. I understand that. But it will, if you can do it, make a huge difference to whether you lucid dream or not. Because here's how lucid dreaming works in very simple terms. We know that we lucid dream during our REM sleep mainly. There are other times, but mainly during our REM sleep. This is longest during the last part of the night. So by staying up late, what you're actually doing is you're stopping your body having the right amount of sleep, which I'm, so, I'm sure you already know, which then leads to you not having the right length of REM sleep, which then leads to you not having a lucid dream. And it amazes me how many people will message me and say, Steph, why can't I lucid dream? You know, I, I go to bed late, but that shouldn't stop me lucid dreaming. And it's like they can't understand the connection between missing out on all this sleep and not lucid dreaming. It's the same with uh, cannabis. If you're, sm or you know, drinking or whatever, if you're taking these substances, of course it's gonna stop you lucid dreaming. So there are a few things you can do about this. Like I said, firstly, try and uh, fix that by going to bed at a sensible time. If you can't do that, look at trying the following things. You can take melatonin as a sleep spray, which is a really good sleep supplement. It's gonna help you immediately fall asleep when you need to. That's a really big one. I've actually had really intense dreams when doing that, actually. I found that when I take, take even just a few sprays of melatonin spray, uh, my dreams become very vivid, very intense, uh, in some cases even become nightmares, actually. So secondly, you need to make sure that you can actually lucid dream to begin with. If you can't lucid dream anyway, then trying to do it at 3 a.m. is just gonna make it even more difficult than it would have been if you had actually not done that. So try and learn how to lucid dream properly. You know, watch the other videos on my channel, learn, how, learn about reality checks and techniques and that sort of, that sort of thing. And once you are in, the po are in a position where you're taking melatonin, you know how to lucid dream, what you're gonna be aiming for is what's called REM rebound. So when you, and this, by the way, this is easier if you do this every now and then. You can't lucid dream all, every night and you, by, by going to bed late, you're gonna massively hold yourself back and you won't be able to lucid dream as often as uh, someone who doesn't do that, right? But the best case scenario, you can go for what's called REM rebound. When you deprive your body of REM sleep, meaning when you stay up until 4 a.m. and then you go to sleep and then you might wake up at 10, for example, that's not enough time to sleep, of course, that's not your full eight to nine hours. So your body will be lacking the right amount of REM sleep your body will be in what's called a sleep debt. And this means that the body, when, when you do actually go to sleep, will try and claw back that REM sleep and give you a, a longer chunk of REM sleep to sort of make up for the sleep that you're losing. So in theory, you should be able to lucid dream more or less the same as someone who doesn't stay up late. So it's one of those things where there's gonna be people who stay up late and they find that they can't lucid dream at all. And there's gonna be people who stay up late and find that they have no problem lucid dreaming because they have that REM rebound effect. It does vary from, per from person to person, but what I would say is you will be holding yourself back by staying up late, that's a fact. And you can make it easier and more likely by doing things like reality checking more often, especially in the early hours of the morning as you're getting ready for to go to bed and you, as you're getting ready to go to sleep. Now here's the most important tip of all. If you stay up late, and if you are trying to lucid dream but you're finding it hard, the hormone melatonin is gonna play a huge part in whether or not you can lucid dream. Melatonin is what helps keep us sleepy, relaxed, calm, and sedated. It's why, that's why it's such an effective sleep supplement, like I suggested earlier but you can actually use your own body's biology and chemistry to naturally have more melatonin in your system, which is then gonna let you lucid dream more often. Here's how you do it. 
So this is a pair of blue light blocking glasses, biohacking glasses. And if I just show you uh, at just the right angle, you might actually be able to see how there's a blue tint to the lens. Hopefully you can see that. Now what this means is that if you put these on in the evening, what will happen is you, you're gonna be stopping blue light from entering your eyes. Like for example, from this lighting here, from the light above me, whatever. The blue light from those sources enters your retinas and stops your body producing melatonin. So if you're video gaming up until 4 a.m. and you're not wearing a pair of glasses like these, then you're gonna have a very hard time producing enough melatonin to actually fall asleep and lose a dream. And hopefully you can see that, yeah, yeah the pair of glasses like that, the biohacking glasses, um, very cheap. They're, like, they're less than $10 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to the ones that I use, but th they're very cheap. And by doing that, so the, the goal is to wear those as soon as the sun goes down. When the sun goes down, you put the glasses on. You can leave all your lights on, you can still video game, you can still watch TV, whatever, as long as you wear those glasses. And here's the thing, two seconds of blue light exposure stops melatonin production for three hours. So even if you, you know, you need to take them off to scratch your eyes or something, keep your eyes closed, right? You, you need to be protective of your eyes at night time. Very important. And like I said, very easy to do with these glasses, but you need to be consistent with it and you need to not let the blue eyes enter your, <laughs> you need to not let the blue light enter your retinas. If you do that, you can stay up late and still lucid, lucid dream in theory. Um, but like I said, important that you use the glasses. So, and they are actually pretty cool. If you just uh, take a look at these now, they're very simple. There's no lens, okay? They don't magnify anything. Um, so they won't affect how you're seeing things. They won't be blurry, for example. Uh, you probably won't even notice them, but they make such a huge difference that you'll wish that you bought them years ago.